you've put so much work and effort into the scriptures. Would you mind just sharing with us how that has strengthened your testimony and just your personal relationship with the Savior? Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. The God who spoke to Moses, who sent his messenger, Malachi, is the God who still speaks today. And of all people, we know the prophets, not because we read about dead prophets whose stories are preserved on dead trees, paper, because they walk among us. So this is the living reality. Uh, you know, working in church, in, in, in church headquarters, we see them a little, maybe more than most, because they're there, we're working, we're in meetings with them. Uh, but I had a recent experience. We, we've, had a, a, we've had a family struggle, a personal struggle that, in our family that's really caused us a lot of concern and worry and uh, been on our knees and praying and fasting and all kinds of things. And I happened to walk in a room where President Nelson was. It wasn't a planned meeting. There were other people there. And he came over and he just grabbed my hand with both his hands and he just, he just held on to him and he looked in my eye and he said, Richard, I love you. Now, this man knows a million names. I'm not special. I mean, you know, he's just an amazing prophet with incredible memory. But just his looking into his eyes and holding my hand saying, we love you. I don't know if he knows about the challenge of my family. So the Hebrew Bible is lived today among the Latter-day Saints.